Good morning, everyone. The frost on the roofs this morning remind me that winter is definitely here. A very chilly but beautiful morning here in Sacramento. Wednesday is Veterans Day, a day when we're invited to reflect on those who have given generously in service to their country. Memorial Day is the day we typically remember those who have died, but on Veterans Day, the emphasis is more on those who are living. But as we think about those who are living, it connects us with those forces of devotion to freedom, to devotion to country, that have so characterized the life of this nation and many other nations. Each year on Veterans Day, I find myself humbled by the power of the day. And my thoughts do go immediately to my parents, to my family. My grandfather, Bertie, uh, was killed in the Battle of the Somme in July 1916. I, of course, never knew him. And my father really never knew him because he had just had his second birthday when his father was killed. But Bertie was conscripted into the military uh, and died in a very senseless battle. Uh, but he believed he was dying for love of country and for freedom for all people. Two years later, my father was abandoned by his mother, who was going through desperate times, uh, and spent his young youth and young adult struggling for survival. Tough times. So he was quite delighted when, in 1934, he met Joan Southworth, who was a young woman who had just returned from India with her family. Her father had retired. Uh, to a, a North Wales resort town. They had a house just two blocks from the sea and they loved living there. Uh, my mother came from a much more upper middle class family and so I know uh, her parents were anxious about this man who'd come in their daughter's life. But in 1938, they joined in the celebration of their wedding. So April 38, they were married. Within 18 months, they had both volunteered for military service in the British Air Force. Uh, my mother was what they called a plotter, tracking enemy aircraft over the English Channel and southern England. My father was an auto mechanic in the Air Force and was involved in those campaigns in North Africa and then up through Italy into Austria and Germany. Uh, they both loved their country. They both lived in devotion to freedom uh, and the fear of fascism and, uh, and Nazi Germany. I thank God that both of them survived and grew up and had three sons. <laughs> I thank them for life. So on this day, I honor my grandfather and my parents they made different kinds of sacrifice, but they impacted our family for generations. I honor all people in all nations that love their country and love their freedom so much that they make great sacrifices and those sacrifices continue into our time. And so on this Veterans Day, I invite you to honor all have, who have fought to defend freedom, defend their nation, defend democracy some who are conscripted and some who volunteered and pray for all veterans in our community now and their families those experiencing illness still those experiencing death and grief those experiencing ptsd as a result of their service i invite you to join me in prayer let's pray together lord you know how deep oh warriors wounds go you know the loss that many veterans experience in body mind and soul you know the memories that haunt them and the scars that many of them continue to carry please bring healing to those veterans who still hurt please grant patience and wisdom to those around them who cannot understand but can sometimes help the healing process we give thanks for the veterans in our St. Mark's community 
And we think of them year by year standing up in the Sunday morning worship of the congregation. We pray for them and give thanks for them and their families. We honor those who have given so much in dedication and love. Let no one feel forgotten or neglected. Let every woman and man, young or old, feel the deep and enduring gratitude of our community and nation and all people of peace. And as we honor them, we pray for peace and an end to war so that all may know the power of your love to heal and renew. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. I wish you a good day and a week filled with God's presence.